pleasant good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you're watching all over the world just your boy dre welcome back to dre and weather sports before i get into the video just hit the like button and share the video quick and fast people no breaking news this morning just a video to preview the match jamaica versus united states Concacaf. Nations League semi-final. Got Mexico playing Panama, Jamaica playing United States. Where? AT&T Stadium, home of the Dallas Cowboys, Texas. Time, 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Jamaica time. Where you can watch it? TikTok, Dre Anywhere the Sports. <coughs> Jamaica versus United States. Semi final. Match. We would love the win. Are we optimistic about the match? Yes. Are we optimistic about a win? So, so, are we nervous? <clears throat> no. Is it a must-win game? Not really. Would we like to win? Yes. So, people, as soon as you come in, hit the like button. Important match in the sense that it would be very nice to reach the finals and win our very first how should we put it our very first regional trophy our regional cup it's a big thing being in the top four big up tyrone <coughs> Hey, when we say um, the scoreline yesterday in uh, Abbeville, I miss a T. Williams. We said, Tyrone, I play a ball. No, watch out the man bag. Two goals for view. And then, hold on, I said, Trent, Tyrone, Trent. Hold on there. We have a Williams with an injury, a return from injury. I'm going to go check on to say, I you. Sorry. But big up yourself, same way for Jaina over here. Take time out of your morning and pass through. All right, so we're in the finalists, semifinals, four best teams in CONCACAF. And uh, it's, it's a sense where we're excited. If we win, lose, it's not drastic. That would affect the coaching the coach's position within the JFF. We qualify for the Copa America, which is a big tournament. And Nations League, though it would be nice to win this, it's not if we lose and go to the third place playoff and win and become the third best team in the Nations League. It's not a big deal either way. Big up, big deal then, by the way. One big deal, Romano. Speaking of Romano, oh boy. Y'all see what Fabrizio Romano post about the Leon Bailey situation? We'll get into that. Spend about five minutes on that. But match day. Black, green, and gold for match day. Jamaica versus United States. Going into the game, this game, Jamaica will have. 20 players available for selection. We know Kadamar Terry pulled out. We have so we also have Gray and Boza not available, only available for the finals. 
So with those players, it would have been 23, but 20 available for selection today. Antonio also pulled out due to injury, but he was able to be replaced because of the situation. It was injury. It's not a no, no show. No show is different from injury. No show, you can't replace the player. But injury, it's understandable, and that's a given circumstances where you can replace the player. Once you submit the 23 players to CONCACAF by the deadline, and the player pulled out within that deadline, it has to be for injury for the player to be replaced by a player in the 60-man squad. And I'm not repeating myself. Six minutes in the video, we can pull it up and watch it back and see what I said about the replacement and non-replacement of a player. That's why we was only able to replace Antonio and not Bailey Kadamateri. Can't say Bailey because we don't know one Bailey and a Leon Bailey. Everybody I recognize the name once we say Bailey. So that's the reason why we weren't able to replace Kadamateri. Only Antonio. So much there, people. Available to us is 20 players for selection for today's match. Not available to us. Available to the coach. So the coach is still, was still available to play 11 and 11 drills and a goalkeeper sit, it, sit out. But here we have it. Match day, Nations League, semi final versus United States at ATT Stadium, aka Jerry's World, home of the Dallas Cowboys. Yes, sir. 7 p.m. kickoff. That's good time. So the stadium is supposed to be rampant today. Especially come about halftime. May not be jam packed for the first match, but but I guarantee about halftime, stadium gonna be packed. But people, let's get into my predicted starting eleven. Given the circumstances about Antonio's injury. Not available, but we see an all predicted starting 11 leading up to this. Mikel Antonio was definitely their starting striker, and everybody's predicted starting 11 leading up to this. Mikel Antonio. Now, USA coming in with a, a strong team, a team capable of winning the tournament. But the ball is round, so you never know what may happen. Maybe a 1-0 victory for Jamaica. Maybe a 2-1 victory. May go to penalties. And we know Blake's the better of the two keeper. All right. Here we go. Starting 11 for Jamaica. Drink any weather sports predicted starting 11. And by the way, yesterday, before I get into that, Great birthday. Enjoy every bit of it. Respect to all the shout out them and all the um, YouTube platforms them. Big up all the YouTubers them who wish uh, me happy birthday. Um, big up everybody who wish from over Instagram, from over Facebook. Those of you who are watching this, big up yourself. Much appreciated. Big up to all the donations. And I did put it to rest. But if I did put it to good use, if I need the money, I did drink the Ryan, big up yourself. <laughs> Much respect, bro. All right, let's get into it. Start at 11. Dre anyway the sports. 442 formation. Or it could look more like a 4-2-3-1 formation. Yeah, let's go with that. 4-2-3-1 formation. Dre anywhere the sports. Start in 11. In goal. Andre Blake. Two defenders. 
Damian Lowe, Deshaun Bernard, left back, Greg Lee, right back, I hear people talking about Tavon Gray because he's familiar with these USA players. These USA players are European players. They're not MLS players. So that said, Gray said this one, the player with the brightest future in the starting level. Dexter Lambekisa, right back. Then we go to the midfield. A lot of controversy. I see a lot of people predicting their starting eleven and leaving out this player. But no doubt, the player in the starting eleven, as predicted by me, and will be in Coach Hall Grimson starting eleven, one of the first players on the team sheet. Joel Latibadier. Next to Joel Latibadier, Daniel Johnson. Left wing, Jamal Lowe. Right wing, Bobby Reed. Center attacking midfield. Big up yourself, Richie. Center attacking midfield. This is where it gets tricky. Because the player said 4 2 3 1 or 4 4 2. No. Trade in with the sports saying 4 2 3 1. Casey Palmer and Striker. Yes, striker. Not a favorite position. Not a favorite player that I'm going to choose to lead the line for Jamaica. But a player who's very familiar with Coach Hal Grimson's system. A player who's very familiar with the MLS. A player who's very familiar with this U.S. team. Played against them numerous times over the years. Kaim Dixon, that's a talent, very talented youth. Watch him play, seen him in person, met the player, took pictures with the player. Very good and humble youth. Big up yourself. Time will come. Ronaldo Cifa, Ronaldo Cifas. Very talented. Very fast. Skillful dribbler. Big up yourself. Time will come. But. <laughs> Check one. Guzman don't know it going on. But leading the line for Dre in Weather Sports is the man himself from New York, Red Bull, striker Corey Burke. Leading the press, if we decide to play the press, we'll see how that go. But I have a feeling, coach, it's just going to have a strategy of sitting back and trying to hit them on the counter-attack. We have plenty of players up, up top capable of scoring goals. The three man them lead in the front line. Casey Palmer pulling the strings and capable of shooting and scoring from just outside the 18-yard box. Very much capable. One Casey Palmer Go watch his highlights for this season so far. Scored two 
banging goals. Goals of the week, Casey Palmer. So he's capable of firing from outside the 18-yard box into the back of the net. So he'll be my cam just with John below. Corey Burke leading the line, pressing, putting pressure on the USA defenders, not making them rest and relax. Fast. Catch them over the top on the counter-attack. Capable of scoring from outside the box also. Takes so long for open the thing, star. But yes, people. Corbett would be leading my line. Enough people are going to say, don't go to another coach because Corey run up and down on the, the, the track star and the. Yeah, you no know, man, me understand that. But hopefully, Scoreberg turn up tomorrow. And then, my predicted score. So, my predicted score line is Jamaica 2, USA 1. Jamaica 2. Big up, Joaquin Guzman. Well said. Jamaica 2, USA 1. And yes, so extra time. The goal scorers. The winning goal is going to be scored by a surprise scorer. Surprise scorer to the rest of the world. However, I have a feeling that young Dixon is going to come off the bench. And score the winning goal for us in a 2-1 victory for Jamaica over the United States in the U.S. AT&T Stadium. CONCACAF going to get... Tomorrow with this scoreline. 2-1. Saying that we're going to defy odds <clears throat> that stack against us and come out with a victory tomorrow. 2-1 victory. People, hit the like button and share the video. Tell a friend, tell a family member about Drake Anywhere that Sports. It's going to freeze up for a minute, so give me a second. All right, people. Sorry about that. Let's get back into it. Want to say thanks everybody for joining. 
remember to hit the like button and share the video and tell a friend to tell a family member about Dre Anywhere the Sports. Enough respect and appreciation to everybody who sent out birthday wishes yesterday and donate so we can buy a drink. So big up on yourself. Remember to share, tell a friend, tell a friend, a family member for Dre and Weather Sports. Until next time, I say peace, love, unity. I'm out.